What is going on guys, Unlimited Cop here back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at affordable bot setups for your budget. And before we get too far into it guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Hunter, or I'm a cop. I make videos going over buying sneakers, reselling sneakers, and my journeys throughout all of that. If you guys have not checked out some other videos, I would definitely suggest doing so. Without any further ado guys, let's just hop right into it. Now a little disclaimer guys, this is 100% my opinion. If you guys don't agree with me, or you would change something about something I say in this video, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. Also guys, there are a couple different things we are going to want to take into account besides the actual sneaker bot. The first is going to be the actual cost of the shoes. Generally, shoes are going to cost you anywhere from $150 all the way up to $250, sometimes even $300. So you're going to have to take that into account when you are getting into the sneaker game. On top of the actual cost of the shoes, you are going to have to have some money for proxies, potentially a server, and definitely a cook group. We'll be going a little in depth on these three things later in this video. So starting us out at $500 range, guys, I would highly, highly suggest you rent a bot at this amount. Honestly, for the bots that you can get for $500 or less, they're not gonna really compare to the bots that are going to be five, $6,000. So because of this, I would definitely suggest running kind of a lower end bot so you guys can kind of get a feel for the sneaker game. So starting us out, I would definitely suggest you guys rent a lower end sneaker bot if you're just getting started. This is going to allow you to have more experience using a sneaker bot before you move up to a higher end bot. Because honestly guys, if you don't know what you're doing with a high tier expensive sneaker bot, it's not really gonna do you much good. I would definitely suggest renting out NSP or Nike shoe bot for a month or two so you guys can get some experience and then from there you can move up to a higher end bot. That's gonna allow you guys to get a lot of good experience botting sneakers without having to put a pretty big investment into it. If you guys have a little bit of a higher budget, you could purchase NSP for around three to $400 dollars every single year but honestly guys if you're just getting started I don't suggest that I would highly suggest renting it for a couple months getting some experience with it and then going from there if you really like NSB you can do that or you can move up to a higher end bot once you have more capital unfortunately botting sites like Nike sneakers foot sites and Yeezy supply has become a lot harder recently so that's why I would definitely suggest looking into Shopify the price to rent Balka right now is pretty cheap so you guys can rent it for a month or so and get some good experience with it and then from there you can look into a higher end bot personally guys if I were you I might suggest looking into renting NSB and Balco just so you have pretty much every site you need covered. You can use NSB for foot sites and then have Balco for Shopify and it's going to give you a good range of sites to actually target. So from my opinion guys, I think NSB and Balco are the top two options for the $500 price range. You are going to need a couple other things when you are getting into botting. Like I said previously, the first thing is going to be proxies. Proxies are vital when you're botting sneakers and honestly guys, they're just as important as a sneaker bot. If you guys are using a thousand, two thousand, even seven thousand dollar sneaker bots, but using really qual low quality proxies, it's not really going to make much sense. In conclusion, guys, when you're first getting started in the $500 range, I would definitely look at NSB and Balco, learn how to use those, master those, and then you can move on to a higher tier bot. And as far as it goes for proxies, guys, if you're using NSB, I would probably suggest you pick up a couple two gigabyte plans from a couple of different providers. That's gonna allow you to have some diversity in your proxies, which is always good. Now, if you're gonna be using Balco, guys, you have a couple different options. The first is going to be buying like five to 10, maybe even 25 ISP proxies for Shopify. Make sure they work on Shopify because some ISPs don't. And then the second is going to be going proxy list. I don't really recommend that for most sites, but some sites you can use it on. But if I were you and I ran a Balco, I would definitely suggest probably picking up at least 10 to 20 ISP proxies that work on Shopify. As far as servers go, guys, I wouldn't recommend using one for NSP or Balco unless you really need to. If you have a half decent computer, guys, you're gonna be pretty well off. But if you're on a low quality laptop or like a Chromebook or something like that, I would definitely look into using a server. I'll leave a video link down in the description below if you guys wanna check out how to set up a server. Last but not least, guys, I would highly recommend joining a cook group. If you guys have your bot, you have your proxies in your server, but you don't know where the shoe actually drops, it's not really gonna do you much good. Coat groups are gonna provide you a lot of vital information you need to actually cop the sneakers, bring you from what times they're dropping, where they're dropping, and give you guys support on how to actually successfully run your bot. Personally, I own my own cook group, Saber.io. If you guys are interested in checking us out, I'll leave links down in the description below. We have extensive release guides, 24 seven monitors, a bunch of support, and just a lot of other things. Obviously guys, there are hundreds of different groups out there, so definitely do your own research. But if you wanna check out Saber, links down in the description below. Moving on to the $1,000 price range, I would definitely suggest looking into Soul AIO. You can pick up a copy right now for around $600. Soul is a pretty well-rounded bot for the most part, guys. It's gonna have a lot of good sites that you guys are gonna wanna bot, especially when you're just getting started. And coming in at a $600 price tag, that's really not too much compared to these other bots. Now, unfortunately, guys, you're not really gonna get a super high quality bot for that price. Obviously, these bots that are going for five, six, seven thousand dollars are gonna do better than Soul AIO, but you're definitely getting a quality bot for the price. 
On a side note guys, I'll leave a video link down in the description below on how to buy a sneaker bot if you guys are interested in picking up Soul. Soul is definitely going to be a really good sneaker bot for when you're just getting started. You can use it for a couple months, learn how to use it correctly, and then you can move up to a higher tier bot. Now that's not to say that you can't go and rent out higher tier bots with a thousand dollars because that is a lot of money to use. You can definitely pick up Wrath or Kodai for around two, three, I think maybe even four hundred dollars for Wrath right now. But then again guys, if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend going out and renting a really high quality bot just because you're not going to know how to use it as well as you would if you had more experience. Now if you guys do have more experience and you've been botting for a couple months, I would definitely look into renting out Wrath. Personally guys, I think Wrath has everything you need and if you have a thousand dollars, it's going to give you a lot of room to work with. As far as proxies go for this price range, I would definitely suggest picking up maybe 50 to 100 ISPs that pretty much work on every site. And then I would also be picking up some residential plans, maybe two or three um, two gigabyte, four gigabyte plans, you guys have some diversity. Diversifying your proxies, guys, is really, really crucial in the sneaker game because on some releases, some proxy providers are going to do better than others. Also, guys, keep in mind, if you are running out a high quality bot, you're going to want to have the best quality proxies you can. You definitely don't want to be using a $5,000 bot and be using really crappy proxies because it's not going to do any good at all. Moving on to the $3,000 budget, I think the smartest choice is going to be Mech AO for around $2,200. Mech AO is a very well-rounded sneaker bot and it pretty much has every size you guys would need. Again, you guys could be renting out really high quality bots for that much money, or you could go the kind of the longer term route and purchase a bot like Mech. That might be the better thing to do in my opinion, it just kind of depends how long you guys want to be in the sneaker game for. Unfortunately, there aren't too many options for around $3,000. There are a couple of different ones moving up to around $3,600, $3,700. You can get yourself Prism AIO. I think Prism is a great bot personally. I've been using it for a while now. And then again, guys, it is almost double Mech AIO's price, but Prism is definitely a higher quality bot than Mech in my opinion. I would definitely suggest buying at least 100 to 200 ISPs for this price range. Make sure they're really high quality proxies and they work on every single site you guys are going to be using them on. Again guys, I would definitely recommend picking up a couple 2 gigabytes, maybe 4 gigabyte residential plans from a couple different providers, just so you guys are diversified pretty well. Moving on to the 5k budget guys, we have a couple of different options here. The first, like I said previously, is going to be Prism. You can pick up a copy of Prism right now for around $3,600, $3,700 like I said. Prism is a very solid bot and it pretty much has every site you guys would need. I've been using it for a while, I've had a lot of success with it, and it also gives you a little room to play with as far as proxies and servers go if you need them. Another great option is going to be Ganesh. Honestly guys, I can't decide if Prism or Ganesh is better. They're both super high quality bots, but they really kind of both do different things. If you guys want to focus more on botting the actual sneakers, I would probably go with Ganesh. But if you guys are more focused on PS5s and shoes, I would probably go Prism, as the site's Ganesh supports are more based around sneakers. I know we keep saying this guys, but I really, really want to drill it into your head. If you guys are using good quality bots, you need good quality proxies. So with this budget guys, you definitely need to be spending quite a decent amount of money on proxies so you get good ones. Obviously don't go out there and go crazy on proxies. Do your research, see what proxies work best for you, and then go from there. But please, please, please guys, be sure you're using good quality proxies and you're not just throwing shit proxies into your bot. Last but not least guys, at the $7,000 range, I would definitely suggest you picking up Wrath. Personally guys, Wrath has been my favorite bot for the past three or four months now. I've had a lot of success with it and I've seen a lot of other people have a lot of success with it. Now, I would definitely suggest you having experience before using Wrath. It's not too hard to use, but if you're going to be investing that much money, you definitely need to know what you're doing. Wrath pretty much has every site you would need from Shopify, Foot Sites, Supreme, Easy Supply, and it does well on all those sites in my opinion. I've honestly had success on pretty much every site that I've ran Ganesh on. You can pick up a copy right now for around $6,500, which is not a bad price. Obviously, that is a lot of money, but it's definitely a long-term investment, guys, and you can easily make that money back if you put the work in and know what you're doing. Another option you guys have in that price range is going to be Valor. I believe Valor is around $5,500 right now. Unfortunately, in my opinion, it's not as good as Wrath, but it's definitely a high tier bot nonetheless. Valor, in my opinion, mainly covers foot sites and easy supply, so that is kind of a downside. So if you do have the extra $1,000 to spend on Wrath, I would definitely suggest doing it, guys. Once again, guys, I know I keep saying this, but please use high quality proxies. If you're spending that much money on a bot, you definitely need to have a good quality proxies. So do your own research, do some testing, and figure out which ones work best for you. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video guys. I do want you to keep in mind there are gonna be some miscellaneous costs when it comes to botting. You're gonna have to buy some Gmails potentially, definitely gonna have to buy proxies, potentially a server and pay for your cook group. So definitely keep that in mind whenever you guys are setting up a budget for your first sneaker bot. And as always guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button for more content. Also guys, if you are interested in joining Saver, I'll leave links down in the description below so you guys can check that out also. 
Also, if you guys enjoy Saber, also. <laughs> also guys, if you have not already, be sure to follow my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and now my TikTok, all linked down in the description below. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm gonna cop and I'm out. Yeah.